Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Dutch and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your puppy's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The corrections and the motivations that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed. And the only correction that we give here at school is a tug and release on the training collar. That is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Dutch is going to come home with quite a few different training equipment and also his service dog vest and you're going to be taught how to use all that properly during your lesson tomorrow. Now he is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Dutch heal. Now at this point Dutch has a job to do and that is to remain even with your left leg when you're walking. So if you and your son are out for a walk or out in an event, he should be staying next to you, focused on you, and when you stop your feet or you stop your son's wheelchair, he should sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So this makes having him out in public an enjoyment instead of a job. And you have enough to do. He should definitely be, you know, paying attention to you and be up to speed with what you are doing. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the sit-stay. Stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one-word command. The long sit stay when you're practicing at home, and you can practice right indoors. 30 seconds, working up to one minute, and then up to three minutes. When Rich returns back to him, he walks quickly all the way around him, getting all the way back to his shoulders, and he stops at Dutch's shoulders, and at this point, the dog expects to get another command, and Rich tells him to heal again. So Dutch has been busy learning to be a gentleman and a service dog while he's been here at school. And I'm sure that we'll have some work to do with you at home after he goes home. But this is a really strong beginning, and that's obedience. Every time Rich says Dutch heal, Dutch gets up and walks right along next to him, paying close attention to what's going on. And when Rich stops his feet, Dutch sits automatically. Rich leaves him in another sit-stay, walks out to the end of the leash and turns to face him. And like I said, you can practice right indoors. You don't have to be outside in the heat. Sit-stay is sit-stay. This time, instead of returning back to him, Rich is going to demonstrate the come on command. We do use his name. It's Dutch come. And Dutch has been taught to come and sit right in front of you, facing your legs, so there's no jumping on you and then he returns back to heel and back sitting. This is really, really, really good basic obedience. He's doing a great job of demonstrating his new skills for you. And I think you're really going to see a difference in your home life with him. Rich leaves him in another sit stay and he's going to demonstrate another come on command. Comes right in and sits. He's happy about it. His tail is wagging. He gets praised for a good job. We're not using food, we're just using praise as the motivator. Dutch is pretty motivated. He's got a lot of energy, so this is going to be good for you to tire him out with these exercises. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left, always seated first, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground, and give the one word command to down and stay. Your long down stay when you're practicing at home is for one minute, working slowly up to five minutes. So this gives you homework to do. When Rich returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him just as he did on the sit stay. Returning back to Dutch's shoulders, everything starts and stops at that heel position. He gets praised for a good job. 
and I'm going to be teaching you, we're going to be teaching you how to use all of these commands in your everyday living situations. Because your situation is unique, you need to have this dog under control at all times. Left open palm, straight down toward the ground, down and stay. And you can actually see him kind of get into a position where he's comfortable and you know he's going to hold it for longer. And this time, instead of returning back to him, Rich is going to call him out of that. Right in and sits. Back to heel, back sitting. Perfect. Good job, bud. And the very last command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a distance. So first have him sit, you're going to leave him in a stay, you're going to walk out and face him. This is the only time you're going to use your right hand to give the command, and you drop him into a down from about three feet away, ultimately you're going to be able to do six feet away. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Dutch's formal on-leash obedience commands. He has come a very, very long way. We will do a good lesson tomorrow and I will try to answer any questions that you have regarding Dutch and his treatment at home. We've enjoyed having him. He's been a little bit of a challenge, but he's certainly come a long way. We want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.